everybody and welcome to A Good Yarn in Sarasota, Florida. I'm going to take my mask off so we can see what's going on. We've been social distancing. Welcome back. It is the Wednesdays where I get to come in and fill up the knitting table with stuff that I am going to talk to y'all about. And it's so much fun because it's kind of like I get to go shopping just, you know, me. I'm going on the shopping spree. Here, let me see if I can rotate so y'all can see all the stuff I've put on this table. <laughs> so much awesome stuff. Let me make sure I don't want to make anybody nauseous. And I've got more over here too. So let's scoot you. There we go. Oh, you can't see. Okay. We have so much fun stuff to talk about today. We're going to talk about the three garments behind me. Um, hi, Liz. Hi, Marianne. We're going to talk about the three garments behind me. And we're going to talk about felting and we're going to talk about lots and lots of yarn. But to start off, I'm going to start the way we normally do and talk about the virtual goings on in the store and how what we, how we are still open to interact and work with y'all. So we are open from Thursday and I wrote it down on my piece of paper. We are open from Thursday through Saturday, 12 to four by appointment only. Now, all of this that I'm going to be talking to you about is what you need to do is go on the Good Yarn website and go to the section where you can make appointments and there's classes and there's all kinds of ways that you can check in. So this is how you would make an appointment to shop. And if the, if the website confuses you, you can just always call us and we can sign you up. It's in half hour increments or more or less and we, you make an appointment. Now, if you're in Sarasota and you have the impulse to come in sometime during that time period, then you can come and park in the parking lot and go ahead and call us and see if there is an open appointment. And if there is, we can let you walk in or we can say, well, we have the maximum number of people in right now, but if you wanna wait, somebody's gonna be done in a few minutes, so you might be able to drop in. So don't let that stop you. We will try to accommodate you if possible. Now, if you can't get in, it, get in at all, if you're not in Sarasota, if you're not moving around, we do have virtual shopping that you can sign up for. Those are in 30 minute increments and they use the iPad that I am currently using. So we can show you things and you talk to us about what you're trying to make and we will show you some yarn and help you shop for your needs, needles, notions, yarn, patterns, whatever you are looking for, knitting, crochet, spinning, and or weaving wise, even embroidery. We got embroidery stuff too. Did you know that? It's super fun. Um, we also have virtual help, just like always, when you would come into our store, if you have a knitting problem that'll take 15 minutes or less for us to help you with, it's free and you can sign up for 15 minutes of free virtual help via the website. Now, if your problem is a little bit more complex than that, we also have 30 minute and 60 minute virtual helps that you can sign up for, and those are priced $20 and $35 correspondingly. Is that a word? <laughs> I think it's a word. So we've got virtual shopping, we've got virtual help, and so we're trying to provide all the services that we always provide live in person in a way through, through virtual. Um, hi Darlene and Carolyn. Then as always, we love classes. We love teaching and having fun. Oh, we also have, sorry, let me get in order. We have weaving clinics virtually on Mondays from 9 to 11 a.m. with Laura. So if you want to get your weave on, then you can come get on that virtually and that is a lot of fun. And then we have knit nights on Thursday night. Uh, Susan, what time does knit night start? Six to eight on Thursday night. Six to eight on Thursday nights, knit night. And so it's like the virtual table that you sit around. It's in Zoom. We can all chat and knit at the same time, only you can do it in the pajamas, you know, in the comfort of your own home. We're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes. 
So we are open right, we're not open right now, but we are working and we do field phone calls. So we, um, you might hear some noise in the background. We are a functional shop. Now, um, we have uh, classes. We figured out we are offering classes through Zoom and what happens is you will sign up for it online and you'll get a link and you join the Zoom and then we have our Zoom class. Uh, the one last night was reading, reading charts and it was super fun and we're working on a follow-up for that one. All y'all, we decided we need more, a little bit more than an hour to really make that sink in and we're working on that. This Saturday, we're actually, I'm teaching a two hour class on blocking like a pro. And what that is about is it is about, hi Lisa, I miss you too. Lisa is another one of my coworkers. We, we had a lot of, we have a lot of fun in the shop and we miss that, but we're trying to bring that to you virtually. Um, and so we, oh, blocking, <laughs> I got sidetracked, sorry. The blocking class, it's about blocking, but it's also about choosing and pairing the right yarn with the right pattern to make you a successful in the execution of your project. We talk about blocking by fiber, we talk about blocking by project type, and we talk about blocking by a fabric type. So it's a really fun class and I'm looking forward to it. That is this Saturday. So you need to sign up for it soon if you want to do it. Now, in uh, we have we have one more in June, which June thirtieth is variegated yarns. So it's tips and tricks for working with variegated yarn. Because you know how frequently you'll buy a variegated yarn, and you really have a hard time finding a pattern that really does that yarn justice. So this class is going to it's an hour long, and we're going to talk about how to evaluate your yarn and pick a great pattern to work with that yarn. Okay, so yay variegated yarn. And we just finished scheduling the new one hour classes for July. So what this is, is every Tuesday, I am teaching classes from uh, four to five, and they've been a lot of fun. So the next one, I'm very excited about this one. We go and teach pom-poms. I love pom-poms. Pom-poms are so great. And we're gonna learn how to use the Clover pom-pom maker to make perfect pom-poms. Hi Patricia. So I'm very excited. We've got several different kinds of pom-pom makers. You can even make gigantor pom-poms. We won't be making this in the class because that would just take forever, but you can make all different sizes and we are going to make super fun pom-poms. Then, oops, I'll pick that up later. So then, then July 14th, we're going to have a class on cast, cast, cast ons. July 21st, we're going to have a class on binding off. July 28th, we're going to have a class on everyone's favorite thing, weaving in ends. You got to do it. And it really helps finish your project. So that is all of that. Let's get to some super fun yarn stuff. Um, so the patterns behind me. These are three beautiful and popular tops that you can make. We've got Love Note, the huge pom-pom, um, uh, the, the picture, it's not the one I dropped on the floor. <laughs> I'm not doing great. The picture has it depicted as like, like stuff like that. So like, it's really a, a stunt. I honestly can't think of a single. Well, you could conceivably like have a giant pom-pom at the end of a scarf. That could be really fun. But yeah, it, it's a statement kind of piece. I would consider actually putting a googly eyes on it and calling it a pet. <laughs> okay. So we've got Love Note, which is this one. Veronica which is this one here, and then Ranunculus, which is our third one. And what I have here is we're gonna talk about the different kinds of yarns that you can use in these patterns. Now, Love Note, like 
like there's 7,000 projects on this. So many people have made this pattern, it's great. Sizing, it goes from zero to six months up to 5XL. So you can make it for a baby all the way up to every size person. It's, it's a wonderful wide range size inclusive pattern. And the it's written to be knit with one of two weights. Either it's fingering weight held with a mohair or a DK weight. And in the original, it was wool, but here in Florida, and if you want to wear it, and that's, so this is gorgeous. Here, let's pull it down. It's just beautiful. You see it has this gorgeous lace yoke and then just this great body. And this one is soft and luscious and between the mohair and the wool, it is warm and you would wear a shell under it, like a little cami for the lace. And it's just absolutely, I mean, even holding it, it is warm and toasty. And this one is gorgeous. I'm gonna put her back up here. But we have selected all different kinds of other yarns. Now, if you don't wanna hold two together, if you don't wanna do the mohair, we have selected. So here we have the Dando Linen, which is going to be beautifully lightweight. It has this very, very cool chain fly to it, which is gonna bring interesting texture to the party. I think this is really super cool. And so you could do the whole thing in one of these. Here's just three of the colors, and it's 100% uh, linen. And I just think, that would be gorgeous in Love Note. Then another one that all you would do is hold it by itself is this amazing Tussa silk. And see all the great little nubblies in it? This is 100% silk. Let me double check that. Yeah, so this is 100% silk. So it's gonna drape beautifully, it's going to block beautifully, and it's just going to give you a gorgeous garment. I picked out a few colors for y'all to look at. This would make such an elegant piece. I love this kind of bricky red color. This is a fainter gray. I think this would go with pretty much almost anything. It's somewhere in, it's grayish, but it also has some brown undertones. It's just a perfect neutral. And then this pink. I just adore this pink. So this is a DK weight yarn, and you could use it to knit Love Note just all by itself, and you'd have a 100% silk garment. This is a 76% silk, 24%, oh, and here's another neutral of the, you can see how drapey it is. Look how it doesn't even stand. Oh, this silk, this is BC Garn, um, BC Garn Tussa Tweed is what this is. Then we have the Dando Silk, which is a 76% silk, 24% cotton. So the cotton is gonna bring, oh, I, have, I pulled out so much of this, look at this color. Isn't that amazing? And this is this. So you could also use this Tussa Silk on this pattern here. But this is the Dando Silk in cotton. What's gonna happen with this is the cotton is gonna bring a little more body to the party and it's not gonna be quite as drapey as the 100% silk. But again, this has a great visual texture and will block absolutely beautifully, be a nice lightweight top for you to wear even on the hottest of days. And then if you're into holding two colors together, but you again, don't want the mohair because we don't really wanna be warm we have, this is 100% linen fingering weight Sparrow from Quince and Company. And we are pairing that with the Anzula Breeze. This is lace weight. So it's still a fingering and a lace weight. This is 65% silk and 35% linen. So holding the two of these together, you're gonna get a little bit of a marled effect. The two together are gonna really, the, this will brighten this up and it's just gonna drape and it's gonna be gorgeous and lightweight and we have it we put together these two colors and then this gorgeous 
uh, what color? Orchid color with this more mauvey color, which is called viburnum. So this is the flower one. <laughs> and then this amazing aqua color with, what color is this? I can't even pronounce this. Eleutheria? I'm guessing another flower of some. Hi, Miami, Rosemary. Yes, Susan picked out these colors. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's, they're so complementary to each other. And I think that would be absolutely gorgeous again. And these would work just, just beautifully. And I think it would probably work fine in this one too. We'll get to that. And then, oh, this one's really cool. Look at this. This is cotton. It's DK weight, but it's, here, let me get a lighter color. But it's gonna show up better. It's a tape. So it's gonna have a very different texture and it's gonna look really, really cool. And this is, you are right on time, Rosemary. We have plenty to talk about. So this is a DK weight. So again, you wouldn't have to hold it with anything and it's gonna make the stitches really pop. And this cotton is available in some absolutely gorgeous colors. We got a purple and a red. I made my little tower of yarn. So these are gorgeous and it would be amazing in any of these colors. Now, okay. <laughs> these, oh, we have one more. So we've got these, if you, these, the trailhead yarns, these are two lace weight yarns. And we're pretty sure that you could just, instead of fingering lace weight, you could stick with this at the gauge. It's gonna make it a little bit more open, but this is also what's shown right here in the Veronica. So these are held together and this is a 100% tencel, and this is a cotton linen blend. So this is a completely vegan pairing and they just knit up beautifully held together. And so here's one color combo. This is Beautiful Bear and uh, hmm. Swooping Bat. That's a cool combo. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got, um, this one is Shipwreck and doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> a bad word. <laughs> but this would be a gorgeous neutral and these would work in love note pretty much almost any of these that we have behind and this one is prickly porcupine and dark as night so again a gorgeous look at that we are not that would be absolutely gorgeous now so those are ones if you're not wanting to do the mohair now if you do want to do the mohair, which it is amazingly, gorgeously fuzzy, we have some great selections for holding the mohair with a fingering weight yarn. So this is Moon Glow from Miss Babs, and this is Obsidian in Yummy Two Ply. So this, I can't, oh, it's going to be dark with a white halo and just absolutely stunning look how beautiful those look together and this would make a love note or frankly or the Veronica mm -hmm. gorgeous 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 and then these are so I'm so excited about these okay we have our own kitty bee who died these yarns are the two grays so that is the Miss Babs these the, the gray and the black, Elizabeth, is this what we're talking about? These two? Or the ones that were the, the, the ten cell? The one before Moon Glow, the dark grays. These two here? These are, so the ten cell, the base is Cabot Trail, and it is Trailhead Yarns. And this is Prickly Porcupine. And then this is also Trailhead Yarns. And the, the base is Fundy Tides. And this is Dark as Night. And it is a cotton linen blend. 
so the two held together. Okay, so Kitty Bee Yarns. These are exclusive to A Good Yarn. They're dyed by our very own Catherine. This is a, let's see here. This is a super fine alpaca silk blend. And we have picked, so this is Best Beach Ever. This is the exclusive Color Club Beach Comer collection. Only ours. And look, it's these beautiful creamy shades with hints of pinks and slight almost grays to reflect our beautiful, beautiful white sands. And this is the same color on our mohair base. This is the 72% mohair, 28% silk. So holding these two together, you can make the love note and it will be absolutely gorgeous. But if you want to kick it up even a little bit more, we have the same color on this Merino Nylon Sparkle Yarn. <laughs> I love sparkles. Look, can y'all see that? There we go. The yarn is sparkling. Oh, you're doing floating in these two? They're so beautiful. They're just gorgeous. So if you hold so it'll be a little bit fuzzy, well, a lot fuzzy and sparkly at the same time, which really, that is absolutely amazing. And you can really see, now they're different fibers, so they're gonna take the color different. So you can see on the mohair, it's a little bit pinker, and here it's a little more, but they work. Look at the peach, look at that. It just looks like our beautiful, beautiful sand. So that is absolutely gorgeous. So that is the best beach ever color combination. And then we have the sea glass and we have it in the sparkles. Oh, isn't it awesome? And the sea glass on the mohair. And it's just, I love, love, love these colors. They're so pretty. So that's the sparkle base with the mohair. And then this is the, uh, this one is Superwash Merino in silk. So this one is gorgeous. Look at that base. It's got a lot of silk in it. So it's got that beautiful sheen, but it's got the Superwash Merino. So it's soft and look how it goes together with the mohair absolutely beautiful so again this would be perfect for love note so love note we're in love with love note right now then we have the veronica now veronica is kind of like a poncho and it fits everybody loves it i've seen it on so many different bodies it looks cool this is what it looks like flat it's kind of a crazy looking thing, but it is just a nice loose piece to throw over. And again, let's see, again, this, this one is actually, this sample is in this fiber combo, the 10 cell with the cotton linen blend, but it would also work in some of these others. So the fingering weight, it would be fantastic. I think it would be really gorgeous in the, the breeze and then we have ranunculus ranunculus you can see has multiple options we've got the drop sleeve arms and then we've got a we there are two sleeve options and two yeah the sparkly sea glass is so amazing y'all and there's two there's a wider neck and a narrower neck so you have multiple combinations that you can work up and it is just beautiful again i this is here let me pull it out see how open and lacy it is and this is this the tessa silk see absolutely gorgeous but i would love to see what it looks like in some of these other yarns i still think it would it would look great in the dando silk and again we get into the sparrow 
it would look amazing. You can go a little bit thicker and a little bit thinner on the yarn and what's going to change is how open it looks. If you like it, but you would like it to be a little less um, see-through, then you would really need to, um, you, all you have to do is go with a thicker yarn and it's gonna be less open because the laciness here is from working a thin yarn on a thicker needle. Um, which sweater would be best for a beginner knitter? Um, I'm gonna let Susan field that in the comments. Susan is in the other room, the owner, and uh, listening to me and responding to questions in the comments. I think she would be a better judge on that. Um, she has a better handle on how these are put together. Um, I think they're gorgeous. They're knitting around. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Susan answer that in the comments. Okay. Put this back up here. Okay, so she's saying Love Note is easy and it's Tin Can Knits. Tin Can Knits is very well known for writing very easy to follow patterns. It's kind of one of their things. And it's got a few short rows and it's got lace. So I don't know if that really defines as beginner, but it is an easy pattern. Okay, we have a couple new yarns that we wanted to show you that are really super interesting. So these are from Haiku. This is Pop Cycle. Uh, Blair, there we go. And here, I'm gonna show you these. They're so cool. And here's the thing. This yarn is 50% polyester from recycled bottles, like plastic bottles, and 50% bamboo. I've never heard of such a thing. It is really cool. It's incredibly drapey. The bamboo and the polyester both are gonna contribute to that. Um, it is a fingering weight yarn. It would make an amazing, anything, any kind of shawl, it's gonna drape like crazy. Now, because it is polyester and bamboo, we're gonna to have to experiment with the blocking to see what was happening. I'm going to guess you're probably gonna need, if you want it to block out to like lace, you're gonna to need to use some form of steam and heat to get it to block out because polyester is not gonna just wet block. But if you're just doing garter or just fabric, it's just gonna drape beautifully. And I love, obviously, the two different fibers take the dye differently, which is white, why you are getting the the different sort of marled effect. So we ha this is, if you wanna try something new, this is gorgeous. And then we have Drape. And this is a 100% rayon, and it is a heavier yarn, sport weight. Look at that. It's got gorgeous stitch definition. Um, the rayon, again, you're going to have to be gentle blocking it. If you want to learn more about this, my blocking class, we're going to talk all about this kind of stuff. And it's got great stitch definition. It's got gorgeous colors and it's going to be light and it's going to be great for summer projects. So that is the other one, new one. So this again, it's rayon and they both have great notes on it. It says hand winding recommended. and so what that means is they really recommend you're gonna hand wind it into a ball instead of using a Swift and a ball cake. Because these are, because they're rayon and bamboo, they're very slippery. And if you put them into a cake, there's, there's nothing grabby in them and they're just gonna collapse on themselves. So it's better to wind it into like a traditional ball so that it doesn't just be chaotic for you. So that, ooh, I pulled this, I was looking around these are super fun. Look at this. This is a wrist ruler. It is a bracelet for you to wear 
so that if you ever need to measure something, like if you've got a pattern that says work for four inches, you can have this on and you're like, ooh, I'll just take my bracelet off and I will measure it. And this one is a 15 inch and I believe we have some 16 inch. I think we only have 15 inch in this color. This is the A Good Yarn color. You're only gonna get this here. And it comes in this really cool little tin. Ooh, you're making the sticky tea and drape. Oh, that's gonna be really cool. I can't wait to see that. When I see it, y'all will see it, let me tell you. So you've got it in here and it comes in this awesome little tin that you can keep it in. And it's just, just a little super fun thing I wanted to grab. I saw it, I'm like, hey, I can show them this because I think they're great. Ooh. Now we're gonna have a little bit of a segue into felting. So we have this great pattern for felted bowls quite the opposite of what I was talking about where we have yarns that don't have are so slick that they're not going to stick to each other in a uh, when you wind them into a cake if you have a non super washed wool you can felt it which means you knit it big and then you chuck it in the washing machine in hot water and run it and agitate it and it felts down into felt and we've got these great <laughs> Aren't they fun? So these these tiny little mini skeins in these bundles that are specifically so you can make these great stripy felted bowls. And so what this is is this is a hundred percent non super wash, and this is Highland Peruvian wool. It's super grabby. Now, if you had some color work you wanted to do, you could also do that. But as you can see. This is what it is. And so we can get you this pattern if you want to get one of these and have a fast fun kit so you can make felted bowls. So this is felting. This is just fun for me. <laughs> this is felting by knitting it first and then using water to shrink it down. Let me see the details on this. So this is going to sound wild. You knit this on a size 13 needle. So when you initially knit it, it's gonna be big enough to like wear on your head. It's gonna be giant. But then once you felt it, the felting process shrinks it down and all the agitation makes it, it's, it's what you do not want to do to your sweater. This is doing it on purpose to create a bowl. So that these are kits we have in right now. And if you want to make this is I think it'd be fun to have the little bowl sitting around or they could make some really awesome gifts and that is my segue I'm gonna have to pull a bunch of stuff over you hear what I'm doing I'm making a mess into needle felting so needle felting it, so what that was is you knit the thing in wool and you shrink it. Needle felting, you use wool and it's not yarn, it's wool. And then you take, and really, you're gonna, it's gonna sound like I'm making this up. You take tiny, tiny needles. Here's another one. You take tiny needles and you stab it repeatedly. Just stab, 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 stab. And what happens is these little needles have tiny, they're textured, they have tiny little hooks on them. And when it goes through the wool, it agitates that wool and makes it felt. And so you stab, 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 and you create felt. So much, yes, you use roving. This is one kit, I'm gonna show you a bunch of kits. So this is a kit to make butterflies. And what's included in this is you get, you always want some sort of surface that you stab into because you really, really do not want to hold something in your hand and, and needle felt it because you will stab your hand. Don't do that. You, you, you put the felting surface on your table and you put whatever it is you are felting on that and stab, 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 stab. And this has the colors and the instructions on how to make 
these butterflies. And then here is another surface you can use for felting. And this has, so here's what the needles can look like. There's one type of needle. And then this is what's called a pen type needle. And then this is, this is for felting larger sections because it's got multiple, yes, excellent. When you really, really feel like stabbing something a lot. And then we also have other kits that have different, there's all different kinds. These are triangular shaped, so they agitate really well. Now, let's look at these. Oh, and you can get, if you want to do a lot of felting, we've got the big old, this is again, the surface you put what you're felting on, stab, 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 stab. So, here is a needle felted cat. How cute is it? It's so cute. So we've got kits. We've got the narwhal. Oop, here's another, you can see. Let me, this one I think I can open up. This one has a great, where you hold it like this and stab, stab, stab. And you can see it's tiny. I'm not gonna take the thing off because I will probably poke myself. So you've got this and you stab with it. So the narwhal, which I just showed you, he is fantastic. Look, sea turtle, <laughs> he's so cute. And we've got a dinosaur, which is, these are such fun. You can make them just have them sitting around your house or you can make them as gifts. We've got, this has enough in it to make four of these tiny little dolls, which they're just, absolutely adorable so those are those kits then we have baby penguins here look how cute they are oh so so this says makes two penguin babies um, you need to get the surface for this the surface is not included in these little things this one is really fun it's a little sheep <laughs> and you can see it has these little locks, the curly locks, which are awesome. So you can make your little sheepy sheep with wool. So you made a sheep with sheep. We've got Robins. I just think their faces are so, so cute. And then if owls are more your speed, we have owls. And then we have a big kit I pulled to show you. If you ha if these little guys all need some place to live, they can live in a mushroom house. <laughs> so as you can see, this has this this has the whole thing. This has the thing you uh, your base, and it has a needle punchy 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 guy in it. And God, I just they're so cute. They're super fun. It's it's just if you want to try something a little different away from knitting that is an option we have for you here in this store. So, did I cover everything? I want to show you this. Oh, look, look at this sparkle yarn. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just love this sparkle yarn and the way that these two go together, I just, I can't get over it. It's just absolutely beautiful. Look at the sparkle. Like sparkly things so um yeah <laughs> Did you, was that enough yarn for y'all so this is again love note and we showed you all different kinds of options and the reason why we wanted to do this is because we wanted y'all to think about that sometimes people are like what do you knit in Florida it's so hot we have all kinds of non-wool yarns and wool blend yarns that are perfect for knitting in the south and to create garments that you can wear during hot weather and you still have fun knitting and they're beautiful and it just takes understanding the fibers and understanding the patterns and what you can match up and what's going to work with each other so we are always help happy to consult 
with you. That's what you can sign up if you need to use the 15 minute help for that or sign up for the sh virtual shopping and we can help you plan a project with the right yarn for what you want to do. And then you can have this one pattern and you can make a warm weather one and a cool weather one depending on what fibers you use. And we get to play with all the fun, gorgeous fiber. So thank you all so much for joining us here live again on Wednesday. We'll be back next Wednesday. If there is anything you specifically would like to see on one of these, please let us know in the comments um, and we will see what we can do to have a lot of fun together. Thank you so much for joining us and y'all have a nice day. Okay, bye-bye.